So this year, a couple cars have been running a new fuel tank for us. It's a prototype unit. We got four cars running it. Uh, University of Michigan, University of Akron, uh, Rochester Institute of Technology, and ETS. It's so going to be a one and a half gallon fuel cell. Uh, at the moment, there's a displacement volume in there to make sure it's an even playing field with the existing fuel tanks we've been using, uh, which are the plastic fuel tanks that used to come with our old engine. Uh, when we switched to a new engine, we got an engine that doesn't come with a fuel tank, so we had to come up with something, and there was a, an interest in coming up with a spec fuel tank for the series. Uh, so we said, what would, what would we change if we could just make our own tank? So one of those things was making it a gallon and a half to hopefully eliminate one pit stop uh, in future events because anytime you're talking about pouring fuel around a vehicle, you're talking about a fire hazard. Uh, so that was one of the things we wanted to try and reduce. But we didn't want to make it too big to increase just the fire hazard on the vehicle itself. The disadvantage of the bigger tank is that it's, it's heavier. Um, it's aluminum, it weighs more empty, it weighs more fuel because it's got more fuel in it. Uh, so it, it, it takes a little bit more packaging space in the vehicle. Um, but we think that overall we'll be ending up with a, a better product for the vehicles.